the enjoyment of the Lord produces the joy of the Lord. We cannot expect to have the joy of the Lord without enjoying the Lord. So I started uh, a podcast today under Anchor. I'm going to link it down below. That's cool, girl. This is where I sit with him. My, I have this eight foot dry erase board where I write down the things God has been saying to me. Check this out. But when you have kids, it stops looking like this and starts looking like this. <laughs> I'm gonna link down below five of my favorite books. I just became an Amazon affiliate, which means if you want one of these books, that I'm gonna recommend, which a lot of them are right here. These are my favorites. And you use the link that I put below, it'll help me out. I know one of them that I'm gonna link is definitely gonna be, I've not read this. It is a must read. This, hello. This is probably one of the greatest pieces of, oh man. Books are just falling everywhere. Oh. I wanna get like that whole Experiencing God series that we did with me in the stupid green shirt. Well. You can get these on uh, Christ for All Nations. I pray that God would seize you with the enjoyment of himself. Literally, that your heart and your life will be wrapped, R-A-P-T, in the bliss of his presence. Bless you. It is through abiding in him that we access the riches of the divine life. And it is through enjoyment of him that we abide in him. We abide in the Lord through enjoying his life. So the question then would be, look at this. So the question would then be, how do I enjoy the Lord? Well, enjoying the Lord and abiding in the Lord are linked. They're the same thing. You abide by enjoying. Yeah, at the end of John 14, Jesus says, get up, let us go from here. So you see the picture that they're sitting down because he says, get up. And then after he says, get up, he says, let us go from here. So you have this image that the scripture paints for you that they're walking. The very next phrase that Jesus says is, I am the true vine. He then gives the greatest discourse on abiding that there will ever be. And he does this while walking with them. Literally, them being in his presence, listening to his words. And I believe he did this to reveal to us what abiding actually is. Abiding is clearly understood by how Jesus taught abiding, which is in step with them, walking with them, them remaining in his presence, and from there, listening to his words. This is how we abide in Him. Therefore, this is how we enjoy Him. So even out here, in the midst of this college campus here, no matter where you find yourself, well, the secret of it is it's very simple. Turning your attention, turning your attention to Him. And as your heart is turned towards Him and attentive towards Him, you're listening just constantly aware of his person and attentive to his person and this is how we live in constant fellowship with him oh this dove just flew over to me see him he's brown so. but uh yeah attentiveness to him will link us with him and this is how we enjoy him and in enjoying him we have access to the riches of the divine life Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. 